Hey gang, what's up? Welcome back here to another episode of The Fishing Teacher and really appreciate you guys swinging by the channel, checking out today's video. Guys, today we're gonna to be talking about something that I have alluded to in the past on some of my other channels, and that is what I call roughing up your soft plastics to catch more fish. And doing this, I'm gonna show you guys how to rough up your plastics and not only it creates a different look for the bait that's attractive to the fish, but also makes your bait softer, more pliable, and natural looking. So we're gonna show you guys how to do it and provide some examples here. Also guys, a big thank you out there uh, for everybody that helped us reach 10,000 subscribers. We hit that yesterday. So really appreciate you guys helping us reach that goal. And again, thank you very much everybody that's been uh, buying your tackle through my tackle warehouse links that I put in the descriptions of the video. Um, I'm very grateful for you guys using those links, so much appreciated there. Okay guys, I'm gonna talk to you, uh, we talked about this on some of my other channels. I'm gonna show you guys what this is if you've missed it on, on this channel here. Now I'm gonna, first of all, I'm gonna show you two different types of baits here. I'm gonna show you with a tube and then on a stick bait. And you can do it on any soft plastic. Because what happens, most soft plastics, um, they've got different levels of salt in them. Some of the brands out there like uh, Yamamoto, they're very heavily salted. Some of the ones like Zoom have salt, but not quite as much. So the amount of salt varies from manufacturer. But anyway, when you get a lure out of the package, the ones that have salt in it, the salt naturally makes the bait a little bit more rigid um, and you know a little stiff. So I'm gonna show you a before and after here. Now here's just a regular tube right here. And what you wanna do is just take it and just rub it in your fingers break up all this salt in it, all the way around it, and you'll feel it coming out there. Just take some time, rub it, don't get it too hard while you'll tear it. You know, sometimes I like to pull it a little bit. And what this does is, is the more that I work it, it's sort of like, um, you know, if you, you know, you know, tenderize meat or something like that, the more that I work the tube, the softer it gets and the more pliable. So not only it looks more realistic, there's more of an undulation like that, but it's easier to hook the fish because the plastic's softer. <clears throat> now look at the before and after. These are the same tubes here. Look, look at the difference in coloration um, on these two tubes. This thing, it looks to me, just looks, wouldn't that look more natural and edible? If you were a fish, which one of those would you eat there? This one looks torn up, a little bit more natural. It's a little more pliable. You know, this one's a lot stiffer that doesn't have any salt broken up in it. Okay, that's a tube. Now, let me show you on a, like a soft plastic stick bait. Here's the two identical stick baits. Same type of thing here. Just take your time, work them out really good. And one of the things you'll notice in fishing, guys, is um, it seems like I catch more fish on the lures that I've used a long time. Like the crank baits that have some paint scratched off them and, you know, jigs that are sort of gnarly looking a little bit. I just think imperfections are a little bit more attractive to fish. So when I'm breaking this stick bait up, the stick bait is constantly getting softer. So here's the before and after on the stick bait coloration here too. Now, if you were a fish, again, look which one looks a little bit more real to you. Obviously that one there. So anyway, it's a, it's a simple trick, guys. It's really easy to do. It's something I do with every one of my soft plastics where I pour a fish with them. I can promise you it's going to get you more bites. It's gonna give you more confidence because it's something different the fish don't see. Um, it's going to make your bait look more natural in the water. It's going to be easier to hook the fish because the plastic's softer. So it's just a really good tip to file away in your fishing. So see y'all next time.